I'm gonna say this right now. If you are looking to get treatment and help for mental illness and or trauma and therapy is not working for you, PHP, okay? Hey friends, welcome to my channel. So I'm here to talk about PHP and what it means and what you do there and kind of just a generalization as to how it can benefit you whether you're dealing with mental illness and or trauma. So what PHP stands for, it stands for a partial hospitalization program. It kind of is the middle ground for being in a mental hospital and kind of between getting just regular old therapy. So what it is, it's kind of just an intensive medical treatment. They kind of monitor you day by day, but you also get to go home. So it's kind of similar to a mental hospital. It's just like the only difference is that you go home. When I did my PHP program, I had to be there for two weeks. So that was 10 days, excluding weekends. The first step into getting into PHP obviously would be to voluntarily admit yourself or have somebody admit you. In my case, I admitted myself, but I was kind of like recommended because my ex told me he was like, okay, you know, I feel like this would work for you. I read on it and kind of just like sent me a link and was like, here you go. So then I read into it and I was like, okay, this sounds interesting. Um, it sounds different, but like I was kind of already wanting to go to a, back to a mental hospital, but for some reason all the nurses were kind of just like, girl, you do not want to go back. I was just like, why not? And they were just like, mm -mm. they were just like, we can suggest PHP though. And then I was just like, what is this whole thing with PHP? I never heard of it. I don't care. And then I, once I got into it, it literally like helped so much. Once you admit yourself or once somebody admits you, then you kind of get put on a wait list or you get sent in right away. Typically the wait is about weeks. I know a lot of hospitals can be booked depending on the time of the day. Sorry, there's like a bug in here. Hospitals typically tend to be full around like holiday season. Expect maybe like a few months of a wait if that's the case. That's like the only downside of it is that they're gonna put you on a wait list. In my case, I got lucky and I was only waited for like a week at most until they called me back and they were just like, hey, you know, we have a spot for you. Just be prepared to get a little bit of a wait. So then once you get off the wait list and once you start going to the hospital, take in all of your information. So it's gonna be your intake. So they're gonna just like take general information. They're gonna ask you a whole bunch of questions for like an hour. They're gonna make you sign some things and they're gonna give you a treatment plan for when after you get discharged from the program. If you already have like a diagnosis, it makes the process a lot more easier. If you already have certain medications that you've been prescribed by your psychiatrist previously, they will be managing it for you as you are there. So during your time, like when you need to take your meds, they're going to be holding it onto you. And they're also going to be making adjustments to the dosages as well as maybe prescribing you something different because maybe the thing you're using isn't working. Once you get your intake, then you're going to start the program. They kind of start you right away, at least for me they did. I sat down with my group and we kind of got to know each other. I made like a little name tag to get to know everybody and you're gonna start going there every day and kind of developing like the PHP routine which is basically therapy after therapy after therapy for like 10 days I'm gonna warn you it's gonna be very exhausting like literally it got so much to the point where like my head started hurting and I got a migraine just being there because it just takes a lot out of you so when you first get there normally they're going to just start off your group with like different types of therapies like the skill set therapy there's art therapy we had music therapy um, we did a little bit of meditation and yoga and then of course they're gonna provide lunch for you I suggest if you are dealing with eating disorders and things like that to kind of disclose that with your nurse so they can kind of like deal with that accordingly so I remember we had a patient who was dealing with the eating disorder and every single time we ate he obviously got uncomfortable and kind of just like moved away from the group. Oh my god, there's a fly. Basically what they do in the skill set therapy is that they're gonna go over life skills, skills in general. It's kind of just like school. How to practice gratitude, how to say no, how to set boundaries, how to... <laughs> that is literally what it is and they're just gonna give you a packet and then you guys are gonna go over the packets together. Once you go over that, then they're gonna move you on to like a break. So you kind of get breaks in between the sessions. It's gonna be like 10-15 minutes. I'm gonna be honest, like the first day I was like already exhausted because it was a lot of information and just be prepared for that. Also stay hydrated. We're gonna be sitting throughout those sessions and um, for me personally, I was getting thirsty and dehydrated the entire time. So I really do suggest bringing in some water and snacks because what the fuck, I felt so drained. The next type of therapy that they do will be art therapy. So basically just like drawing your feelings and kind of just like give you a subject of what to do. Like a drawing of like what your life looks like now and where you want to see yourself in like five years or something like that draw how 
you feel currently and then oppose it as to how you felt in the past and how you feel in the future. Draw what your dream future is like or draw what your dream self is like or something like that. I remember we did one where it was just like we drew like little puzzle pieces whether our life is kind of like a complete puzzle or whether we have missing pieces of the puzzle or whether our life is just like a scattered like puzzle pieces everywhere and we don't even know where to start. Be prepared to be around people of all different ages, especially if you're an adult. For the adolescents that get into PHP, I'm probably gonna be stuck with like teenagers and or children. But if you are an adult PHP, it's like so crazy, like the variety that it's at. Cause I'm 21, right? And when I went into PHP, the eldest person we had in our group was like, a 90 year old woman and she could not hear anything and she was in a wheelchair it's insane to me the like diversity that we had in the group and like how many different ages of people that were there and also don't stress too much about whether your group peers care about you or whether they like you or whether they tolerate you because let me tell you right now that shit does not matter i took it to a personal offense because every single time i would show a lot of bouts of anxiety anxious ticks that i had because this one time a wasp it was flying in the fucking room and i was freaking out because i was like what the fuck there's a wasp in here and nobody's saying anything and i have a really big fear of bugs and bees i was freaking out and then like let's call her sandy sandy over here she's like giving me side eye and being like and i'm just like shut your 60 year old ass up i fucking hate me i fucking hate wasps i fucking hate bugs get that shit away from me if they make you feel like you're weird for having like things that are wrong with you just know that that's on them and that's why they're even there in the first place and that's why they're also getting the treatment that you're getting like we all have fucking problems dude after a while i kind of just like laugh at it now because i'm just like bro like why was i having beef with a 60 year old woman who was like judging me for being scared of a wasp like i have my reasons for being scared of bees and if she's not then good on her good on sandy for not being scared of bugs really important if you don't click with the therapist you need to speak with the staff that are there because that's not gonna work what i've learned in the past is that if you do not click with your therapist and your therapist is not working with you perhaps maybe look into getting into another location obviously a bad therapist is it's just not good for you it's not it's not gonna work another form of therapy that we are in would be music therapy basically we had somebody come in and they would kind of just like present us with a song and then present us with the lyrics and then we would try to find like what lyrics resonate with us and what lyrics stick out to us the most and why they stick out. Then we would have to share with the group. We don't have to be too personal. It's another thing. Another misconception about PHP is that, or group therapy in general, is that like basically pour your whole life story. And if you're kind of closed off and you don't want to fill your life story to everybody, don't sweat it. Nobody really spills their life story over there anyway. Kind of just give like little bits and pieces and we do share because at the end of the day, we do want to get treatment and we do want to get help give like a vague answer like you don't have to be super in-depth we wanted to present our own music she would like be like what's a song that resonates with you and let's play it and let's kind of just like listen to it and kind of like feel the lyrics you know <laughs> so um everybody over there was edgy as shit because we all really liked um alternative music i don't know if you can tell i like alternative rock i like metal the screamo bands i like i also really like early 2000s like rock skater boy type of vibe the other type of therapy that they make you do is obviously the traditional group therapy. We kind of all sit in a circle and this is the one where it's kind of like more intimate. Like I've said before, even though you don't have to like share your whole life story, you do have to share enough, participate because that's why you're there. Another key important thing about PHP is that you have to participate. So in all of these treatments and in all of these group places, you have to participate. So when you're in group therapy, you're going to be sharing like a little bit of like your feelings. For example, I can be like, I feel like I'm too much of a people pleaser and I care too much about what other people think. Boom. Like, it's just like, you're not saying why. You're not being like, oh, this stems from the fact that I never got approval from my dad or anything like that. Like just like saying a general statement and then people are going to agree with you. Some people do get personal and they do share their story and that's okay. You know, nobody's like bashing you, but I'm just saying you don't have to. Whether you do or not, it doesn't matter because just participating alone is going to like already get you that step to like getting better. They kind of just like wrap up the day. So like at the place I was at, we had a nurse. He was kind of a student, I think, and he was like starting out his nursing journey and he kind of just like gave us little arts and crafts and to do at the end of the day to kind of just like wind down from everything oh at the group therapy they also make you do like meditation and they also have you do like bits of yoga i guess to be honest i was very self-conscious about like being in a room with people and like 
doing that. Meditation and stuff like that has always been something that I do by myself. I wasn't really comfortable with that. And you can discuss with the staff what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with and what works, works for you and what doesn't work for you. And once that's over with, then you just wrap up the day and like had a little worksheet and be like, how do you feel now? What helped you? How did the staff help you? Another thing that I didn't dive into um, would be medication. So like I said before, nurses manage your medication. Um, towards the end of the day, you get your meds back. So once you go home, you take your meds home and you take the appropriate doses that you need to take. And then once you come back to the PHP, you let them hold on to it until the end of the day because they're the ones managing it. Another thing is you're going to be meeting with therapists, meeting with an MP in between sessions. So they're gonna pull you aside a lot. It's gonna be kind of annoying. Personally, I found it annoying. Like I would be so in my project that I'm doing and then I'll just be like, Nicole, can you come with us? Like, no, I'm doing my crafts, leave me alone. So they're gonna pull you aside and they're kind of just like go with you on one-on-one. -on -one. And that's when you have to be a little more personal and talk about your issues. Just like try to get a diagnosis to see whether or not the, the diagnosis that you currently have is accurate or whether they need to change it. And with the NP, NP is just strictly medication stuff. You know, like how your health is, how well you're doing, and whether or not you need to explore any other options, or if you need to see a psychiatrist afterwards, or if you have a psychiatrist already, that's what she's there for. You do have other concerns to talk about with your therapist and or NP there. Talk about it with them. In my case, I believed that I have other issues they had diagnosed me but i felt like my diagnosis was not correct so what i did was i asked them if i could be evaluated for autism so php does not deal with people specifically on the spectrum you know, whether it be adhd autism any other like disability typically php is for people with mental illness such as bipolar depression anxiety panic disorder schizophrenia ptsd um they also deal with just cptsd and drug addiction or alcohol abuse. All of those things are typically the norm of PHP versus autism and ADHD is more handled with other specialists that deal with people that are happen to be neurodivergent. If you believe that your diagnosis is incorrect or you believe that maybe PHP itself isn't working for you because your problem is different, do consult with your therapist, do consult with the staff there and let them know because they can refer you to a different place. Was it um that's basically just a generalization of what php is whether you believe php is a benefit for you or whether it doesn't work for you doesn't work for everybody just letting you know but do highly recommend if you don't want to be in a treatment program like a mental hospital and staying there for like days or weeks or months or just going into regular therapy it's not enough and you're not seeing your therapist enough obviously there are other options but php is like it was amazing for me at least like it helped a lot um i also want to share that i did get this stone at php i don't know if all the hospitals do it they probably do give a little something to, at the end of like seeing their patients but what my place did they um they gave us all a stone that we could choose from because they're all into like spirituality the crystal girls they would give us a stone and i kind of just like picked whatever one i wanted to pick and i picked this one and i googled it and basically what it is is that i forgot what the name of it was but it stands for hope and it stands for personal growth and i feel like that like resonated so much with me because i was literally there to grow myself and literally there to like get myself better I'm still trying to get there and i'm still trying to get on my way um obviously i still have my little bouts of like depressive periods but i'm still trying to like fight through those that's basically it i hope you guys liked the video i hope you guys thought it was informative I didn't have much to say but like i feel like i tried to cover as much as i could as possible appreciate everyone watching and i appreciate all of you guys that watch my videos i will see you guys in the next one Bye.